you. The deep. Beneath fresh green leaves, within the wind's silver fingers, a dream. Bodies deep in clockless clouds, waterfall mimicry, endless, attainable. Invisible birds sweetly singing, budding where beasts lie, where breasts of bright plumes among honeycombs, sylvan echoes, Elysian, tease the brightness, changing light, butter yellow temple of air, maps of deep red immortal real, flesh back to flower, seed and seedlet, scent, scent, eyelid shudder, disobedience bellowing radiance, a dance to the tune of black angels, strawed and streamed, macabrite, unbound, free, difference. Metallic sea bobbing, ribbons of night fanning dreams wound through rustling wilderness, darkness and its strange end, unforgotten beauty, silent rain feathers upon the unshed tears. Oh, dark, oh, darkness, beneath the murmuring horizon, your ghostly gown coiling round, sailors lost, vacant, quench. Our bond, our black-winged song, our youth do come again, life uncaged. Um, thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, Lynn Lanadier was a, a San Francisco poet. She was a lesbian poet and one of the founders of the Women's Building in San Francisco. And unfortunately, she committed suicide by jumping off a cliff near the Golden Gate Bridge. The woman in this poem considers the Golden Gate Bridge. Lana Deer Rampant. As from a distance, watch yourself disintegrate in foaming seas. Weldon Keys. You are too near the bridge to have such hair. Hair a man would love to comb his fingers through. Lana Deer. Walking down the old familiar street, doorways reappear. Shoe repair, new soles, smell of polish and leather, where you sat in a chair, swinging bobby socked feet, Lana Deer. Salvation waits. <laughs> Salvation waits on the corner of donut holes, six to a bag, and in Mr. Bay's barber chair, platinum bangs feathered on the floor, Lana Deer. The bridge, Lana Deer, and the sea, Lana Deer, and the dark morning hours chew through your brain looking for innocence lost, Lana Deer, and the stab in your heart where the intersection of life and death is marked. Cool fingers of fog have been waiting all these years, Lana Deer, knowing one day you'd be theirs. You are too near the bridge to have such hair, so you'll cut it off, leave its stories behind, or if they stay whispering in the roots, you'll feel it pulled by the updraft of love you left behind. Wasted, unbelieved, Lana Deer, your hair will be the last of you to hit the sea, the city that saved you again and again, rising swiftly to still you to sleep. Mm, thank you. <laughs> Canción del amor y de la muerte. The body lifted towards the sun, opened and opened away from itself, arms spread to air, expanded, full of light and atmosphere, soft against belly and breast. The body cooled in the air, every pore filled with the scent of nature transforming. Pine needles in the rain, mushrooms pushing up through dark, all the sweetness of decay and birth blood heat, blood sleep. To open one's body, finally, to sail swiftly over the blue-green planet, to fill one's arms with light, those small pulsing anchors prick and prick, earthbound in their bondage of grief. Look, outward, the face is open with a full expression of energy. Relieved, the body flies upward, soars as if it would mend in weightlessness, openness. My love, if I die and you don't. 
The white moon sinks into the sea. Shadows and deer graze side by side in the garden. Songs of crickets rise in silver bodies under the V of geese returning to the lake. The once burst open blooms close their petals slowly. Inside them lie memories of butterflies sipping. And this is the last one. Um, thank you. You know that today is Jack Foley Day. <laughs> um, he'll be getting his award here at 5.30 today. And, you know, sometimes life is not as it should be. Sometimes it can't be as it should be. Today it is because it's Jack Foley Day. <laughs> Twelve lines stolen almost randomly before midnight. Happy Jack Foley Day with thanks for turning me into a shameless thief. All of these lines are by different poets. Ecstatic heights in thought and rhyme, the song of waiting and the shock of time. You must look up at the sky and act as if the dream now beats more quickly than blood. This is the secret lamp burning under our gestures in the air that consumes and strengthens, burning red, jumbled and quivering, each summertime to life. Lo, this is he, and there could I marvel, Jack Foley Day. Pools and pasture shade with bannerets and censers, with wimples and magic veils, the birth, the day of a nation. Thank you, Jack. <laughs>